the government and the prosecution claim that they have irrefutable evidence. They have uh, stacks of evidence. And yet you say that it's politically motivated. Can you explain to me why you believe so? Well, well the, the prosecution and the government included, uh, they are two uh, different uh, bodies, I must stress that. Uh, they have always been confident of any case, that they have got stacks of evidence. But if they do that, then you would expect close to 100% conviction. And yet, in this country, we have about 60% acquittal. So where is this uh, body of evidence? So similarly, in the case of Najib, uh, they have claimed they have got uh, tons of evidence. But we have studied their, their so-called evidence, and we think uh, those uh, evidence amount to nothing. Why then, if you feel that you have a strong case, if you feel that you have a strong defence, why is the trial that was supposed to start today postponed? All right. The postponement is not caused by us. Uh, very interestingly, uh, we said this in the, in the open court yesterday. Now, just days before today, which means the start of the trial today, we're talking about four or five days, and at the most one week, two events was initiated by the uh, Attorney General Public Prosecutor. One was to withdraw the certificate that gives uh, this court, the High Court, the jurisdiction to try this case. Without the certificate, the High Court does not have the jurisdiction. So they withdrew it, which means pulling the carpet right under the feet of the High Court. That's number one. That gives the High Court no longer jurisdiction to try the case. We do not want to go on with the case. And finally got declared that the whole trial was a nullity. Why should we go through two processes of the same, of the same time? It's a double jeopardy. Secondly, you remember the three new charges. They preferred the three new charges yesterday morning. And yet, these are three new cases. They want these three new cases to come in in a joint trial with the seven... But new cases will come to light as new evidence comes to light, surely? Yes, but surely That's I... That's part of the legal process. No, it is not. When you give me uh, new charges, you give me new time period for me to prepare. So how much time do you need to be pr do you well, need to prepare about... with the evidence that is that has been presented to you? Because there are new cases, you have to give another six months to prepare those new cases. The other one, who have been sleeping on their rights, who have been sleeping on these three uh, cases, the stack of evidence that you mentioned must surely be with them because these three new charges are six months earlier to the current seven charges. So why did they sleep? Now, their fault, they have to lump it on us. We need the time. Part of fair trial is giving us enough time. They are depriving it in an unholy haste. And you remember there was this evidence. So you claim that the evidence has not, the evidence that the prosecution claims to have, the irrefutable evidence has not been presented to you? They have not been presented. They have given us documents and they're trying to do inference upon inference. There's no direct evidence. And I would like to confront those witnesses if ever uh, some of these witnesses uh, have turned turtle, uh, have done a U turn, because I know for a fact. All these witnesses have given uh, testimony in the previous investigation that they did not implicate uh, Dato Sri Najib. So I want to find out why they now U-turn the whole thing. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.